Bonjour, bonjour, Tavy Baisley from French Speak. I think we're live. Bonjour, bonjour. In today's video, I want to teach you how to say and pronounce some of the Y sounds. So in the IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet, it's this symbol. Um, but many people have come across this sound without necessarily knowing what the symbol looks like. So here are some of the words that have that Y sound. We have, sorry about the reflection of my window, I'll get a bit closer. We have I, I, which is garlic, Fi, which is daughter, Deuil, which is death, Ratatouille, which is that beautiful vegetable um, dish. We have over here, Réveil, which is your alarm clock, Réveil, and finally, Feuille, Feuille, which is a sheet of paper or a leaf on a tree, Feuille. So I'm gonna break down the sound into five categories so that you can see the Y sound with another vowel sound next to it. And I'm hoping you can join me. If you're here live, do comment below. Tell me you're here so I can see your comments. This is a totally new interface. Facebook has just changed a few things. So I'm gonna check that I am not just speaking to myself, that I can see your comments if you type them in, say bonjour and tell me where you are. And I will get started. I'm just going to check. I think it is working. OK, so the five categories to pronounce this word. I'm starting from easiest to hardest. So don't worry if you find it easier to say the first few and a bit harder to say the next ones. It is in that order. And the more you practice, the more easy you'll find in the harder sounds. The first sound I want you to Practice is the sound A ah with the Y. Why? Because when you say goodbye, you're pretty much saying the A ah and the Y. And all my students, I taught French in Ireland and in the UK and in Australia, are English native speakers. So if you say bye like that, then you have that A ah and that Y sound ready to go. So let's look at words that have I together. We have the word for garlic, ai. Then we have the word tai, which means size, tai. Now it's always easier to say a sound after the y. It's quite tricky to end with y. So if you see my second option every time, it means that they share the same side, the same start, but then there's an extra sound afterwards. And the second word is usually easier to say. So Répétez après moi. Tailler, tailler, which is like trim a hedge. Taille, which is just the word size. Tailler, taille. It should be easier, or it's often easier for my students to say tailler than just say taille. It's just one syllable. There's a big tendency to say taille with an extra e. We only say it in one short syllable, tai. So it's as short as saying ai. We have ai, tai, taille. Then we have mai. Mai, which is a brand of mustard, but also a stitch in a clothing. Mai. Mayo. Again, mayo will probably be easier to say than mai. But if you can say the second word of each, you just need to trim it, say it a bit shorter for the next one. May, mayo. If you start with the second one, mayo, you're just making it a bit shorter. May. Mayo is like a jersey, a soccer shirt. Mayo. Or mayo de bain, which is a swimsuit. There's lots of different meanings. I'm giving you one for each. Then we have, oh, I wish I used a darker pen. Bay. Bay is what you pay for your rent. If you rent, if you rent where you live, that's what you pay, is le bail. Then we have bailler, which is the verb to yawn, bailler. Oh, this is 
Okay, I think I can see now, so hopefully you can see them too. Ai, tai, taille, mai, mayo, bai, baie, which is to yawn, and finally, pai, which is a straw, pai. The ai ones are the first ones to practice and to master before moving on to the other y sounds. And I've put quite a few examples, so you'll see um, that they get a bit harder. The next one are all under the category of e, e. So if you can say a, which is a very Australian sound to make a. If you can say e, then adding the y sound that we're working today, you get a. You've got to just focus on keeping it nice and short, a. Here are some of the words. We've got the word for old. Let me get this right. Vieille. Can you see me if I do this? Yeah. Vieille. A. Then the verb to get older. Vieillir. Vieillir. Then the word for an alarm clock. Réveil. The verb to wake up. Réveiller. That's waking someone up. Réveiller. Then we have the sound a and in il surveille he is surveilling keeping an eye on keeping a watch surveil and the infinitive of the same verb surveiller it should be easier to say surveiller and then you have to trim it to say surveil so you can see surveiller has three syllables surveil seulement deux d'accord a so, so far we've done A, I, numéro 2, E, A. The next sound is nice and easy, it's an I, but when we have to say it with a Y straight after, it makes it a little trickier. I, 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 I. These are the ones we're working on this time, I and I. A daughter is, let me try and do this. E, and then a daughter is fi, fi. Make sure you only make one syllable with this word. E, fi. Not fi, just fi. Then a little girl is fiet, fiet. Doesn't mean a daughter or a little daughter, but fi can be girl or daughter. Fiet, just a little girl. Then we have b, which is a marble. And billard, which is pool. Not a swimming pool, pool de, on table, like billets, but pool. Famille, make sure you don't say famille. Famille, two syllables. The M, E, I are all in one. Me, famille. I hear that word used a lot and I hear it pronounced wrong a lot. So famille is definitely one to work on, famille. And vanilla, vanille, e, vanille, e. And I put a little asterisk because in this one, it wouldn't be French if there wasn't a few exceptions. In the e category, there are a few words that look like they would be pronounced e that aren't. So it's an I-L-L-E ending, such as the word ville, town or city, mille or million, a thousand, a million. Those ones are pronounced not as an I-L-L sound, but just as an L sound. So ville and mille, keep pronouncing them the easy way with an L, but here we're working on that, this sound. This one, the y, y sound. So, to sum up, we've got a, i, e, oops. We've got e, a, and we have e for e. I've got two more sounds, which I am going to go do quickly before my next lesson is starting. I am rambling a bit more than I thought I would. So, we have u. The sound ou and lots of examples with ou. Ou and oui, brouille, which is a fight between people and then they stop talking, is a brouille. Brouillard is fog. 
brouillard. Trouille is another word for peur. J'ai la trouille. I'm scared. It's quite familiar. Trouille. Trouillard is someone who's a scaredy cat, maybe a bit of a coward, and very someone who's filled with fear. Trouille. Trouillard. They're linked. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. So make sure you keep saying the ou, y together. Oui, and then you can add any consonant sound to that. Tui, mui, and then noodle, which is the n before the oui, nui, nul, nui. So we have i, a, e, oui, and I'm going to finish with the hardest one, which is when you combine the sound e, which is hard to say for an English speaker, it's not a sound you use in English. So think of e as the middle sound in the word sir or fur. That e is the vowel sound we're looking for. Once you have that e nice and crisp, nice and clear, then you can mix it with a y. And that will help us say words like leaf, feuille, oeil, or an i, oeil. So there's the reason why these words are extra fun and extra tricky and I forgot to add one to my list. Um, there's a few nice examples. These often fall in the hardest French words to pronounce because of the two reasons. There's an E and there's a Y. And together it makes E. And you need to be able to say it to be able to say the word I, E, which is this one here, E. So we have E, E, seuil, which is the edge, the front edge of your door, for example, or a building. Deuil, which is a death. Portefeuille, which is a wallet. Oeil, which is your eye. And a squirrel. Écureuil. Oeil. Bonjour, Richard. Bonjour, Michel. Merci d'avoir regardé la vidéo avec moi. C'était la prononciation du son « ye » et j'aimerais que vous pratiquiez chez vous avec tous les différents sons. So I've given you lots of examples for you to practice through. Let me know below if you have any questions. Au revoir!